Okay, it's April the 14th. It's 6.26 p.m. I am uh, poised at the moment to take uh, a video of the moon hologram because uh, I can see it, it's in our atmosphere and uh, it, is, it is a hologram. I, I don't even need a camera to, to see that. So I'm going to uh, just uh, close in little by little so that you can get an idea that there's uh, a blue sky behind the moon. I want you to think about that. That there's a blue sky behind the moon. And uh, why is that? How come we don't see the blackness of space behind the moon? Why is there a blue sky? Why am I able to get so close to it with this tiny little camera that I have? The camera is smaller than six inches. How come I don't need a huge telescope to get right into the moon like that and see it up close and personal? How come I can do that with a tiny little five inch camera? How come I can do that? How come the moon hologram is so close to me that I can do that with just a tiny little camera? Look at that. We couldn't get images like that with a telescope before, let alone uh, any camera. Why is it now I'm able to get an image that close with a tiny little camera that's smaller than the palm of my hand. And how come it's uh, all blue background behind the entire holographic image of the moon? Why is it all blue when the moon is supposed to be in space? And where is the real moon? Anybody asked themselves that lately? What happened to it? How come we can't see it anymore? We have to look at this image. It's not even real. That's a big cluster right there. Check it out. I'm going to have to adjust the camera to show that. Okay. I hope you can see it. That's a big cluster right there. That's, a, that's an orb cluster. That's what that is. And that's what's making the moon hologram. It's not made by laser light or blue beam or anything else. It's those orbs making that hologram. They make a lot of holograms. They're very good at it. So the question is, what happened to our moon and how come we have to look at a hologram? Where is the real thing? How come this thing has no substance at all? 
you can go right through it practically with a camera, a five inch camera.
Seems like all the orbs in Toronto went up to form the moon hologram. And that's the only time we have a sunny day. And you can see anything at all. At, at, at any distance. Most of the time, it's some kind of strange fog and we can't see anything. And we can neither see the sun nor the moon nor anything else. So every time it's clear, you see this. And that's where they all go. Giving us a break for the day. But the whole thing is a hologram. And it's just them. Look at them. Look at them. On that cluster right there. Yeah. That's a big one. All the ones that make up the moon hologram are big. Look at them. That's in our upper atmosphere. But not that high. A couple of miles up. Check it out. The whole thing is not real. It's, it's got no substance whatsoever. There's not one drop of soil or, or rock on that entire image. The whole thing is a hologram. But it's made out of the orbs and it's not shot up uh, as an image by laser light or anything else like that. This is a unique hologram where it takes the beings, uh, the orbs that are there, to produce it and they have to be on location to make it look real especially look real at night but as you can see the whole thing is just a mirage and uh, a hologram it doesn't really exist I'd like to know where is the moon the real thing that we all heard so much about all our lives what happened to that? Watch, see this part right here? I'll go right through it with the camera. Hold on. Go right through it. There you go. And, and right through the moon, you can see to the other side that it's blue. Right through that hole right there, look. It's blue on the other side. Very thin layer of orbs. They're concentrated where they're supposed to show topographical features of the moon that used to be there. And now he's no longer there. Let's check that out. See any rocks or soil? I think more people should be asking the right questions. Why is that there and how come we can't see the real moon anymore? Why do we have a hologram? What happened to the real thing? I don't think enough people are paying attention to what's going on. And it's time to start paying attention around yourself. OK? 
because the world is changing fast. Just pay attention to the movement. The uh, real moon never used to move that fast. Look how fast it's traveling across the sky. I guess it has to show up on, uh, at another location uh, on time. Look how fast that traveled. The real moon never used to go that fast. It took like 10 minutes to go across the screen. I've, I've taken enough film of the moon to know that it used to take about 10 minutes for it to cross the screen. Just check out how fast that thing's moving. It takes 10 seconds now instead of 10 minutes. Uh, that's a big difference. You can see the clusters right there. I have to hold the camera because I have it set up different to a different spot. You can see all the clusters, just one next to the other, and they're very large.
So that's your moon hologram for today. Don't expect the real thing anytime soon. It's gone. All that activity right there. They're layering that hole so that it looks like it's a, a hole on the moon made by an asteroid. That's tonight because the shadow effect will uh, come in and uh, make it look like a a big hole made by an asteroid. Now look at this on the bottom. Nothing. Totally empty. Look. Look at the big clusters. Yeah, that spot, just a, a hole, nothing there. A thin film of orbs. They're layering the whole thing now, so that it looks good tonight. Look at this. Nothing there. Not a thing there. No substance. No rocks, no soil, not even dust. So, I'll leave it here for a minute. Let you take a good close look. What you think is the moon? fake plane got fake moon fake planes pretty soon fake everything Okay, I'm just going to check the CN Tower now.